everybody and welcome back to Let's Build This Thing Right Here. Um, this is definitely going to be a Mega Dread now guys. Pretty much decided it's going to be a Mega Dread. Unless they bring out something new and awesome in the upcoming Orc Codex release for October. Um, basically guys, on this uh, episode, this uh, part of the Let's Build, uh, we're going to be con uh, concentrating mainly on um, some detailing and adding a bit more flavour to this model. We're going to be adding something up here to this rather blank area and um, what we might even do, we might even get round to sorting out something to do with the close combat weapon. Um, I've listened to your guys' um, uh, 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 thoughts on the matter in regards to the comments and stuff on the Instagram and the YouTube video, and we'll see how things go today and see what I actually come up with in regards to the actual build. Um, the actual gun arm is uh, basically um, like this currently as well. Um, I decided to do a little bit more work on it. I, I stripped away, uh, I was using this, this barrel here, and I didn't, I didn't like how how stubby it was. It kind of looked better uh, longer. So I, I ripped this um, Bane Blade uh, barrel off of another um, old model that I hadn't really bothered with for a while. And then I also took, I, I had this underneath it as well, and it just made the whole thing look far too thick and far too chunky. Giggity, 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 goo. Um, so instead of that, I took it off and added this kind of like. Um, also cannon type thing underneath, like underslung. Uh, it looks alright, looks a little bit more compact. Um, and then we've got a magnet in there. So what I'm going to end up doing, guys, is I'm going to end up drilling out this hole a little bit further here. So that, that magnet then fits in there and it makes kind of like a, a, a ball and socket joint. Won't be able to, not ball and socket joint, uh, just make some kind of a um, actual, actual join. So this, it's hard to show you guys, this business here is going to be hidden predominantly by the lip of this uh, porthole that's going to go in there like that. It's going to have some degree of movement but nothing massive. Um, but yeah, so we're going to see how, how, things, how things go. So, um, let's crack on with the high speed montage. What down there, folks?
Okay, guys, so um, I have been away a little bit, and I have actually done a little bit more work. In fact, I've, I've done a lot more work, guys. I'm terribly sorry. I've done a lot more work on the um, uh, the build project on the Mega Dread. And, uh, yeah, so um, this is what he's kind of looking like now. And I'm going to have to move this camera back a little bit because he doesn't fit all in shot completely. Um, yeah, added a hell of a lot more rivets. I also added uh, a load of extra little worky bits and things like that um it was it, it got to a point where I was getting really uncomfortable in the position that I was like trying to like film stuff on camera and also my my, my left hand kept getting in the way of the camera all the time because I'm filming it on the left side and I am left-handed I physically don't have any room to put it on the right of me but anyway um so uh, other little bits that I've added uh, I kind of went on the joints and stuff and I added uh, little things like um these, uh, it, it, uh, I think they're like tank, uh, tank track um, wheel couplings or something like that. I don't know what they are, but they're, they're from like they're what the tank tracks sit on, on like a other model kit or something like that. So I did that. Um, I also on this side, I started using, as you saw on the video. I started using my uh, little silicon uh, cog and gear moulds, and I started using you know, there on that the, some of the the, the, the circular bits. Um, I added a little um, crow's nest as well, as you guys can see it up there. Now, what I'm actually going to have up here, I'm going to have a little Gretchen inside this, and um, he's going to be uh, like a little sniper Gretchen, and I might have another Gretchen as well as like a little mechanic one. I'm going to move this up so I can get a bit more, bit of a better, better look on things. Um, added. Uh, Again, a little bit of arm plating here, just to kind of like disguise this quite obvious join here where it's a toy. And uh, I also managed to uh, magnetise the gun as well. Now this is the gun that I'm going for, I can't remember if I've seen it before. I think I might add something extra onto the back here. I've got some um, ideas coming up what I might do with that. Uh, other little things I added, I added a custom force field, because if I wanted to uh, use this as a mecha dread, uh, obviously they have a custom force field generator, so that is uh, going to be that. I am dubious as to how sturdy this is going to be, um, but anyway, we, we, shall, we shall see. Um, other little bits and bobs I added, like I said, just, just more, more glyphs and more armour plates. I did some work on the feet. I'm going to have to stop this recording in a second, because I'm about to run out of recording time. So, give me a second, I'll be back in a moment. Sorry about that guys, like I say, I didn't want to run out of uh, recording time halfway through, not realising I have to do this all again. Um, yeah, so I started work on the actual feet as well um, uh, this time, and I decided to chop off the little extra supporty bits uh, on the sides that were on there like that. Um, uh, basically, just to make it look a little bit more foot-like with these little support things, they don't... I thought they were going to add like extra stability, but but they really don't. Like there's there's no there is no difference between having these little side bits on the knob, and I prefer them without actually because they look more like little little boots. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I like the the, the 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 spiky teeth on the top here. I might yet take them off, but um, time will tell. Time will tell. Um, added a few of little extra bits like um, some of these little hooks and stuff. Um, just because I wanted a little bit more of a functional feel to this, like, you know, maybe maybe when this isn't being used for battle, this is used to haul stuff around. I thought that'd be really, really cool. Um, I also, let's get a little look at the, um, the, the construction of the little crow's nest that I did. It's actually quite quite nice and I was afraid it was going to be really really flimsy but it's not and um, it's basically it's these two supports at the back two supports at the front they're kind of like shit just fucking knock the fucking turret off you can stay off for the time being and um, so yeah the supports at the back supports at the front and then in between um, I actually added um, some little uh, extra bits of plastic card as little extra girder supports and they actually work structurally as well as visually so I was, I was pretty happy about that um, I decided to take off some of the exhausts on the back because, again, I've got an idea of what I want to add something here. I've got something really cool that I'm going to add, some extra worky bits and stuff. But anyway, guys, so... Um this is not the end. This is not the end. Um, if I remember rightly, guys, I asked you what would you like to see in regards to the close combat weapon, and um, the, the the answers was pretty much split between a buzz saw and a claw. So I thought to myself, hmm, what am I going to do here? So what I did, I tried to make a buzz claw, which is like basically like a claw with like a buzz saw in the bottom of it, but I didn't have anything that I could have used really for a buzz saw. I thought about doing it out of plastic card, but I was like, uh, I'm not sure. I've done one before out of plastic card, and it didn't look very good at all, and I kind of hated it. Um, so I went for uh, this uh, beast here, guys. Uh, I'm really, really happy with the way this claw turned out. 
Uh, basically, uh, it essentially is a box uh, with uh, a slit cut in it. Now, a um, bit of a bit of a weird thing. I am not very good at making solid structures with plastic cards, so what I tend to do, I tend to um, roll out, I didn't I didn't video this, the actual construction of the main body of the claw, because there was a lot of me measuring, and there was a lot of times where I would draw a design, then I'd erase it and start again, so I just didn't think you guys were going to be bored with, with that. But basically, as you can see, it, it's a box uh, with the claw parts on it. The claw is actually made out of PVA board because it's nice and thick and chunky. It's about the right thickness for a claw as well. I did it on the other one, the Mark One claw, which is um, hold on, I'll just go I'll get it actually. Hold on, Ugh, I can't reach. Come here, you bastard. There we go. So the Mark, the Mark One claw, which was this, which was the one that goes on my uh, looted Imperial Knight. The actual blades themselves are a little bit thick, flimsy. It's probably easier if I show you which isn't the uh, the actual edge. So that's how thin they are on that one. Whereas that's how thick they are on that one. And it just looks extra meaty uh, on that claw. So I was very, very pleased with the way that turned out. But anyway, yeah, sorry, I digress. The overall sculpt uh, way I did it was I kind of, I, I drew it out. I drew a template out, cut the template out, and then I uh, roughed up the edges. But then to make it a bit more structurally sound, you know, because I was handling it a lot, I actually got green stuff on the inside. And I rolled it up it's like a, a, a thick sausage <laughs> yeah like a bit of thick sausage and um i wedged it in between there's a, there's a there's actually a lump in here and a lump in here like this and that actually once that hardened that created a great structural internal support for the rest of it um i then decided to go with this imperial knight uh, chain blade here and it makes the perfect kind of like rippy upper well rippy under under claw i should say However, I did want to make sure that this looked like it could work, so again, I used some extra like pistons and hydraulics and stuff, as well as more cogs and things. So, the idea is that this is a puller, like this, so this, this will pull it back, at the same time as this piston, need to remove that mould line, will push the cog and it'll, so it, it would give it, obviously it doesn't work in real life, but it looks like it could do, so that, that will give it uh, up and down actuating movement. So I was very, very happy that I had those parts lying around, and very happy that I was able to do it. I also did an uh, access uh, cog here, so obviously that's where that would move, it's going to be obviously pinned through there. Obviously it doesn't move, but in theory, if it was real. Um, but yeah, guys, so I was really, really happy with the way this claw turned out. Um, happy with the way the armor plates were. I used, uh, again, more of these, like, uh, tank wheels, um, again, on the joints. But it looks really, really good, especially when you uh, put it together. Again, it is magnetized with a horrendously lumpy green stuff mound of shit. Um, but yeah, it basically just goes in here, like that. And that just sits in there perfect. And it just locks in. And now it looks freaking awesome, and I've literally got a few little tweaks to do, and then he's going to be ready for some paint, guys. Um, oh, other things that I did, I decided to give him a driver, and it took me a while to agonise over it. Not a driver, really, just a gunner. And I'm going to paint this bit separately. Um, it basically, that's going to sit on the top like that. It's going to be like an orc knob, and he's going to have his gun. He's going to be like doing a drive-by shooting with his stubber, his pistol, with his um, slugger, and uh, yeah. Let me know what you think of this guy so far. I'm very, very happy with the way it turned out. I was very dubious at first, but it turned out really, really well. So, let me know what you guys think. Um, link is in the doobie-doo down below for all the Instagram and Facebook and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching. See you now, and goodbye.